The tax collector embarked on a four-day exercise aimed at curbing system losses. The exercise comes on the back of GRE's implementation of an electronic VAT system hooked to 50 shops. GRE rolled out the electronic VAT invoicing system last year in its quest to track taxes paid on goods purchased. With the current value-added tax rate at about 25%, some shops have adopted schemes to bypass the system in order to keep low prices to attract customers. It started from the Kaswa office or shop of Melcom, where that particular manager is in the vehicle as of now, and the second manager here at the Achimota Retail Center of Melcom is also being invited by the GRE officials. You can see in your show, these are uh, the officials and that of the manager in front being escorted to the vehicle to um, for his details to be taken and he will sus subsequently be arraigned according to what GRE has told us. So in fact the exercise is progressing and it's a four day exercise and as you may be aware the GRE has actually set a target of 105 billion Ghana cities as his uh, revenue target for the year 2023. So henceforth, they are rolling out this kind of exercises to stamp out any illegality from the system and ensure that their revenue target is actually met. Uh, last year, they were able to set a target of 71 billion Ghana cities. They've been able to achieve that target and also exceeded it by some 3%. They are hoping that they would probably meet their target for the year 2023 and exceed it uh, by all means possible. We know that Melcom, Kanishi, branch, you are on the EVAT uh, system invoicing that you issue your invoice there. Yes, sir. But uh, our information that we have indicates that it's not in all cases that you issue the, the electronic VAT invoice. Uh, we are therefore here to invite you to our office and we are here with the CID. I think we will proceed with the way forward. So, to explain why you don't issue the uh, this thing, the VAT covered EVAT. Uh, if you check the invoice, the customer, so that is there in the in the receipt, EVAT. So what uh, actually? So let's go then. You let's go. Let's go to. So the officials from GRA have officially. Um, explained their reasons for being here to the manager of the Achimota sh um, shopping mall here at Malcolm and he's also given indication that he's going to call the head office to inform them about the presence of the GRA officers in their premises before they can proceed to go to the station with them and where his statement would be taken. The Accra Central Area Enforcement Manager of GRA, Joseph Annan, addressed the media. We have done some tax purchases on the 50 taxpayers that we have enrolled onto our new EVAT system. Today we visited basically Melcom shops that we have on the list. So we were at Kaswa and then we came down to Achimota and we are here, Kandeshi branch. In all these places that we have been to, we have arrested the managers of those branches. And uh, we are sending them to our head office. The CID will take their statements and then investigation will start from there. As issuance of non-VAT, uh, the EVAT invoice in all the branches, the prescribed invoice that should come out from their system is not what they are issuing out. We took them to our head office. The statements have been taken. They got some people to build them. And of course, investigations have started. This time we are looking forward to, you know, building case against them as quickly as possible so that we can get them to the courts. So how soon would that be in the coming days? That one, come again. In terms of processing them for court, how soon would that be? That one, I can't answer to that because my job is to get them arrested and the CID takes over from there. But we are all bent on, I mean, making things as fast as possible so that we can get them to the courts. So what are some of the, the terms of punishment or the penalty? Well, now we are looking at three... Uh, tools under our act. We are looking at the REE and then the 
our VAT Act. The GRE has set a target of 105 billion Ghana cities uh, revenue target for this year after exceeding that of last year by some 3%. And they are hoping that exercise such as this would seal every loophole in the system and ensure that every shop manager complies with the tax laws of the country. My name is Fred Zuho reporting from Welcome Here for City News.